God has done something that will last long for you, and He has put everything that matters into consideration in picking the one for you. Do you want the bone of your bone? The flesh of your flesh? Just wait on God. If you have managed to keep yourself up to this point without compromising, then you can hold on a little longer and you'll be surprised. Even those that have mocked you or asked you taunting questions in the past will come and rejoice with you. You will not just get married to anyone, but the perfect one for you. Your relationship will be a point of reference to people around you and your marriage will be the example that people want to follow. You will find out that it is worth every single second that you had to wait. So, let hope rise in your heart. Delay is not denial. The fact that you are not in a relationship now doesn't mean that you won't be. God is only preserving and keeping you for the best. He's getting you prepared to meet the king or the queen of your life. And when that time comes, you don't want to be found wanting or lacking in any way. So, take this time as a period to learn and grow. See it as a period to build your character and develop in every way possible. Marriage is not merely about the wedding day and walking down the aisle, although that's a day many people dream of. Saying, I do, is just the beginning of a journey into forever, and forever is such a long time for you to miss it. God wants you to live a fulfilled life with your wife or husband of your youth. Or what is the essence of getting into a relationship and becoming married only to get a divorce later a few years down the line? God hates divorce and he doesn't want that kind of life for you. You don't have to go through the pain and heartbreak. You don't have to experience the heartache and misery that comes with ending up with the wrong person or rushing things before their time. The Book of Solomon gives us advice that is still relevant today. Don't awaken love until it is ripe. There is a time and season for everything under the heavens. God has planned your life ahead of you, and so you don't have to compare yourself to anyone. When it is your time, nothing can stop the one for you from coming into your life. When it was time for Boaz to get married, God placed it in the heart of Naomi to go back to her country along with Tenacious Ruth. When it was Rebecca's turn, God propelled Abraham to ask his servant to search for a wife for his son. You may not see God's hand at work. Most times you won't, but you have to trust that he is working out something for you. There is no need to grow impatient or begin to worry over it. If at all it becomes a point of concern to you, just go to God in prayer. Just as the book of Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 says, with prayer and thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. Afterward, let the peace of God guard your heart and keep you from unnecessary worries. Whatever your hand finds to do, do it with all your heart as unto God. Don't become desperate to be with anyone. You have to realize your worth and know your identity. You come from a royal lineage and as such, you should marry one from a royal family as well not just any riffraff. While you wait, ensure that your heart is open to receive the one that God has for you. Don't look down on anyone and don't let your mind become fixed on one direction. That person you are thinking of might not be the one God has in mind for you. Let God take the lead and you just follow him. When he introduces that person into your life, you will know because they will fit in perfectly and fill any void that has been in your life before. You will soon experience the joy and beauty of marital bliss. You will be blessed with the right one for you. Rejoice in anticipation. Sure, you have friends that you can meet with once in a while and have a good time together. You have parents and siblings that check on you from time to time and are concerned about your welfare. Yet, none of these can be compared to having someone that you can call your own. And so... You may have been waiting and waiting, hoping for that day that the person will walk into your life. One thing is sure though, the expectations of the righteous shall not be cut short. Your hopes will not be dashed and very soon you will meet the man or woman of your dreams. You have waited this long, so hold on a little more. God is working out something for you. He's preparing the perfect match for you. 
He knows just what you need and who will fit in with your peculiarities and your makeup. Don't be pushed into doing things that you will later come to regret. Let God lead you instead and you can be sure that he will lead you right. Very soon, you will meet that perfect fit for you. God will cause your paths to cross and will make a way for you to unite. All you need is a little more trusting and patience. Marriage is a blessing from God and he has promised that none shall lack her mate. When one reaches a stage of maturity, people naturally assume that you should get married and settle down with a family of your own. But it's not just easy as that. You don't just pick up anyone and settle down with them. The issue of having a spouse is a very important matter and must be taken seriously. Otherwise, a person might end up living a miserable life. In other words, there must be careful planning and one must be well guided before going to the altar and saying the magic words that bind you to a particular individual for the rest of your life. We usually have our specifications, qualities that we would like for our future spouse to have. Dream of meeting the perfect man and woman, the one that fits into our lives, loves us, and makes us happy. But then, as we grow older, we realize that life is not the same as in the movies. Meeting your perfect match is not an automatic process, and chemistry is not a guarantee of compatibility. There are just so many things to factor in, so many things to consider, and many steps that need to be taken. With the increasing rate of divorce and marital conflicts that are out there, People are becoming increasingly scared of getting married. What happens if they pick the wrong one? What happens if the love fades and things do not go as planned anymore? Will they even meet the perfect one for them? And it is one thing to perceive someone as being perfect and have them become monsters later on. These fears and many others are things that have enveloped the minds of people today. However, we as believers are not subject to that kind of system because we do not walk by sight, but by faith. As long as you allow God to lead you, He will surely bring the right one to you. He knows you intimately and intricately. After all, He created you, and even before you were conceived in the womb, He has set out His plans for your life. According to the book of Psalms, every day of your life has been programmed by God, and that includes the day that you meet your future spouse and when you eventually get married. No pressures, dear one. God has got you covered. We are in a world where people want to get things in a rush. It is now or never, but they only end up with flawed things that do not stand the test of time. Some people get to this point and just accept that marriage was never meant for them even though deep inside, they crave the companionship, the beauty, the love, and the blessings that come with it. They want to have someone to talk to, someone they can share their heart with. Someone to hold them through the trying times. Someone who understands them even when the rest of the world does not. Yet, nobody seems to be forthcoming along that line. Have no fear, because God is doing something about that situation already. 